Hey guys, welcome back. It is day 17th and we are working on strength. My favorite. My favorite. But before we get into those heavy lifts, we're going to take you through the, how it's done 101. Today we're focusing on unilateral movement. What does that mean? <laughs> Unilateral movement just means that we're doing single leg work or single arm work. So we're working one at a time, really allowing you to focus on that movement, okay? So the benefits of unilateral movements, you're using each side of your body equally. So for example, if we're using a bar to do an overhead press, we tend to push a little bit more with the dominant side without even doing it on purpose, without being aware of it further increasing the muscle growth and development of your already dominant muscle group and leaving the other side to be weak because that strong side always pushes forward first. So by doing unilateral work, by doing single armed or single leg work, we really give our body an opportunity to focus on the weaker muscle groups or correct imbalances that might exist without us even knowing it. Okay? Yes, for example, so guys, if you're doing flies and we're doing them, doing them unilaterally, you may notice, oh, I can get through you know, 10 reps on this side so easily. Oh my gosh, I'm like struggling at eight reps on yeah. this side. So you'll know then that there's an issue or there's something imbalanced in that left side. Yeah, or even, even more simple, the weight that you're able to do on one side might be a lot different than the weight on the other. So if you start on your weaker side and you're really pulling your weight and you go to your dominant side and that weight's easy to pull, you'll, you'll know. You'll know which is a little bit more dominant. Not ideal, we wanna fix that. Yeah, so the beauty of this is unilateral training helps to prevent the overtraining of the dominant side, which is what we're talking about. By always pushing through that dominant side first, by always starting with your dominant leg first, it just it, it further exasperates the problem. It, that side keeps getting stronger while your weaker side gets less strong. I don't want to say it doesn't get strong, because it's still getting strong, but less strong. Yeah. So by unilateral training, we help to correct those muscle imbalances. It helps to isolate the proper muscle group as well because we're not moving everything all at once. You're really focused and it adds a little bit more concentration than you would if you were doing bilateral work. I'm not knocking bilateral work, but I'm just saying. So unilateral work, you'll see it a lot in rehab because of those because of that ability to correct muscle imbalances, it tends to be used in rehabilitation for accident victims or burn victims. And there's something called cross-education of muscles. And this is a fun fact. So did you know that by working the right bicep unilaterally, you're actually stimulating the left bicep? <laughs> it happens, it's Not true. Too. So in rehab, all connected. yeah, in rehab, you'll see a lot of the times that in rehab, like if there's an injury on the right side, physiotherapists might have you work on the left side just to help stimulate the right side before actually going onto the right side of the body. But what you need to remember for cross education is it only applies to the main muscle work, none of the surrounding muscles, none of the secondary muscles, only the bicep, for example, on a bicep curl, rather than you know allowing you to activate the back of the left, back of the arm when you're uh, extending. Keep it simple, Tammy. The muscle <laughs> that you're concentrating on is the one that will be stimulated on the other side of the body for cross education. That's cool though. That is so cool. Right. It's like, it happens so on a neural path. Exact. I was just gonna say that! Brain. Brain patterns, brain patterns, but it's a really amazing thing that happens inside of our body and it goes to highlight, it shows that everything is connected and we need to give attention to everything equally and be aware of those imbalances so that we can correct them. Anyways, I like it. You're gonna see a lot, it. <laughs> a lot of unilateral doing work. Today. We're doing it doing in it. the finisher, so stick around. But that's how it's done, 101. Hey y'all, it's me again. I hope I didn't disappoint you. So thank you to Jessie from over on the couch for joining us for the 101, but she's still feeling a little, little bit of tension in her lower back. And we always preach to you that you need to listen to your body. So we're gonna do the same, okay? But I promise you, I'm gonna keep you giggling, maybe at me, not with me, and I'm gonna get you working. So today's workout, we are doing cardio, you know how we like to do it. We're gonna go through that warm up. then we're doing 35 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, one set of each of our eight different exercises and three times through. If you have it, 
Go get it, your dumbbells and your challenger bars. Okay, we're gonna need those today. And let's get right into it, okay? Let's party. We're gonna get that timer going. Hello, 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 hello. And we're gonna get right into that warm up. Brand new warm up for you today. We're gonna start with skipping on the spot. Okay, I want you to alternate your feet, not like those hollow rocks we ended last week with where we were doing those double unders. We're just aiming to get our heart rate up. Skip, skip, skip. We're here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so now we're coming down to the ground into a nice deep squat, up and down squats or standing knee to ground, okay? So obviously if this is too much for your knees, you can lay a towel down, lay a mat down, but I want you to just work to stay nice and low as we get that body back up to standing and come on down. And then let's switch to which leg leads, okay? We got five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're coming into a nice deep squat and then rotating over to one side, back down, rotate to the other. So you'll notice my back foot pivots on the ground and my hips are rotating towards the direction that I'm facing. Whew. Warm it up, all those creases, all your joints, hips, knees, ankles, core, three, two, and one. Okay, so if you have nice healthy ankles, we're gonna lift one leg and we're hopping from side to side on that one foot, okay? We're only here for 15 seconds before we switch to the other side. Nice control. If you can't hack it with one leg because of injury, take both to the ground, okay? We're switching sides, back and forth. Heart rate should be coming up. Three. Two, and one. Bring it all the way down to the ground. I want you to take your hands below your shoulders. Plant through the right hand, and we're gonna thread the needle, bringing your left ear to the ground, left palm, left shoulder. Take it over to the other side. We are just mobilizing through that thoracic, the upper middle back, so that we're nice and warm and limber for all the work we have ahead. Okay, we got another five seconds. Keep going from side to side. Remember, we don't want to hold these for too long. And we're switching. Hands below the shoulders. We're coming up to our toes. We're running those knees in for mountain climbers. Keep pulling the belly button in and up. Run, run, run. Run it in. 10 seconds. Woo. This is a great one for the TA, lower abdominal, two and one. Flip it all the way over onto your back, okay? I want you to walk those heels nice and close to your bum, dig into the ground, squeeze the glutes on the way up for those bridges. A lot of people tend to think, I shouldn't say a lot, but we're confused sometimes, and we assume that we should feel something in our lower back. Uh, Okay, this is to warm up your glutes, your hamstrings. Depending on your foot position, we might feel a little bit in our quads, but never, ever, ever the lower back, okay? And our very last exercise, we are coming up to our feet, okay? Stepping into a nice deep lunge and reaching across the body with the opposite arm, okay? Step it back, opposite leg, goes right across that body. Now, if you're having a hard time balancing in these, you can walk your feet slightly wider. Widening that base of support gives you a little bit more stability. Okay, that's all she wrote. Our very first exercise, challenger high knees. So we're gonna reach for those challenger bars, okay? We wanna space them out just about shoulder height or slightly wider, and we're working. Push down through the challenger bars, let your knees hang, and then we're pulling them in towards the chest. Okay, so while you're working, really important here, if you have shoulder issues, what you don't want is this. You don't wanna see that shoulder coming all the way up to the ear. You're working. Actively push down through the palm, see how that sets my shoulder in space, and then focus on lifting and lowering your knees 
with your core. We got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Let's set those off to the side. We have sumo squats with toe raises. I love a good sumo squat, okay? So sumo stands, channel your inner sumo wrestler, toes pointing out to the side, knees pointing out to the side. Let's go. Dropping down, weight in your heels, coming up straight into that toe raise, okay? Wake up those calves. Down, nice and deep, right into the toe raise. Now, some of you might tend to shy away, like I used to, from calf workouts. <laughs> Jesse laughs at me. To this day, I remember. Do you remember when like knee-high boots were a thing? Don't laugh, the director's laughing at me. Knee-high boots, that was a serious thing. And they were like impossible to get over my calves because I ran. Whoa, look how quick that set was. I was a runner. So they were impossible to get over my calves. I need a core band. Core band real quick. I want you to grab your core band, take it onto your ankles. Quick, quick, quick. Woo. Okay, take it onto your ankles. Ah! And we are sidestepping, okay? So back to my calves. Side step, step, step. Pushing outward. I would shy away from anything that had anything to do with my calves because when I would go to Aldo or Pegabo and I couldn't zip up the fucking boot, I would want to cry, okay? I was like, you know, normal size girl. In fact, to those years, I was probably a little bit underweight and I couldn't zip up the boot because I had these massive calves. Now, I'm all about it. Come near me, <laughs> see if I don't kick you <laughs> with my calves. Okay, exercise number four, explosive couch starters. On the right side, so the right knee is pulling in towards the chest. We're coming down for a race. <sighs> okay, nice alignment, long line in the back of the body. Pulling the knee in towards the chest and then hopping. Okay, tap down and up. We're gonna stay on the right side. And as we explode away, pushing through the toes, Again, we're gonna feel a little bit of work in those calves. Right up the center. Eight seconds, explosive crowd starter. Bang! False start for a race. Four seconds, three, two, and one. Switch over to the other side. Woo! Okay, the unilateral work is great for correcting instability and weaknesses on one side of the body. So awesome. You really notice the parts of your body where you're a little bit weaker. Okay, that was our shotgun. Down and explode up. You'll notice the whole time my gaze stays in line with my spine. So it's almost like my neck is stuck in space. I'm not bending or creaking my neck to look at anything else other than the timer occasionally. Keep going. We are almost there. Eight seconds. That's it. Come on. Boom. Let's go. Woo. Oh, my bum. Is your bum hurting? Feel the bum. Okay. Next up, lateral ski hops. What does that mean? Imagine you are in your cutest snow bunny suit ever. Here we go. Both legs together, soft bend in the knees, and we're moguling. Is that the right word? I'm not a skier, obviously. <laughs> moguling down the hill. <sighs> Got your arms working for you as well. If you'd like to, up the ante a little bit. You can grab a hold of two dumbbells on either side of your body here. <sighs> okay, you can toss that vest on. <sighs> Do you, boo-boo. Five seconds, four, three, two, oh, all right, woo, get your band on. We got a bandit on set. The band is going above our knees. What are we doing with it? So glad you asked. Okay, squatting out, hopping in. Squatting out, hopping in. Now when you drop into that squat, I don't want you to end up here where your knees are pulled together, okay? Push outward, knees stay over those heels, and then we hop in. Nice, keep it going. Almost there, 
Almost there. Five seconds. Four, three, two, woo! One. Boom. Mic drop. Okay. We have a lateral moving plyo lunge. What does that mean? <laughs> it means we're lunging laterally, but we're moving with our lunge. Okay, here we go. Let's start this way. Lunge. And we're going to go all the way to the other direction and back where we came from. <sighs> sort of like a 180 lateral moving lunge. <sighs> We're more than halfway through this set. Oh, quad burn. If you had to rate your quad burn, one to 10. 10 being, I hate you, Tammy. One being, eh, it was okay. Where would it be? Well done. Lap one in the books from the top. Oh, challenger bars. Here we go. Five seconds. We're on in three, two, and one. Okay, so I mentioned before, if you have shoulder issues, not to sink into your shoulders. You can also just lift your knees. Big exhale. But if you have that ability, set your shoulders. Lift and lower. Nice, strong back. There we go. With control. 10 seconds. I can do anything for 10 seconds, or so I've heard. Oh, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful piece of work there. <laughs> okay, sumo squat to toe raises. Woo! Five seconds. Get your head right. We're doing this. In three, two, one. Sumo squat to toe raise. Sumo squat to toe raise. Now that we know what we're doing, there's no guesswork, okay? We can up the tempo a little bit. We can add on props when we need to. No excuses. That's it. Did you catch that sweat drip, Fred? Yeah? This is real. A puddle of mess on the ground. Eight seconds. Keep it going. We got five, four, three, two. Oh, sweat in my eye. Ain't gonna lie. <laughs> okay, get those bands on. We got those side steps. Now, I have curly hair, and this shit does not tame well. Okay, oh, sorry, wrong place. Around the ankles. So to keep my hair in place, there's a lot of product in it right now, and it's seeping into my eyes. Tap, 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 tap. Have fun with this one. The idea is to keep pushing out into the band, okay? Who said your workout can't be fun? Right now, I'm on a big Miley Cyrus tip. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably heard way too many songs from her lately. Last one. I'm not sorry. Oh, I am not sorry. Right now, Midnight Sun. Midnight sky, midnight, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Whatever I say, Google play Midnight Sky by Miley Cyrus, it plays the right one, okay? It is so fire. Fire signs everywhere. What did the kids say? It slaps. <laughs> that song slaps. I love it. And did you know she did a song with Future, a remake? So good. She's so talented. And I'm like, weren't you 12? But I like it. I dig it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay, we're taking it over to the other side. That song slaps. It slaps. I think slaps is a good thing. Okay, four seconds. Somebody Google it. Three, two, one. Woo! Maybe we'll coin the phrase, this workout slaps. Oh. When is a slap good? Unless you're the slappy, slapper, slapping an ass. Slap that ass. Woo. Come on, nice and explosive. Lots of work happening here. Both legs are getting attacked 
in different ways. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. That ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. Okay. We're going to be on the bunny slopes, okay? Let's do this. Five seconds. Channel your inner bunny. Cutest snowsuit ever. Here we go. That's it. I'm imagining my snowsuit has fur and it's fitted and I have cute little earmuffs and goggles. Here we go. Manifestation. It'll be funny to see me actually ski though. As long as the chalet is open. Maybe Jesse's girls can teach me how to ski. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Literally wipe the sweat from your eyes. Grab your band. We have those in and out squats. I'm always way too overzealous and I toss this thing far away like I won't need it again. Wrong, bitch. Woo! Oh, you keep hopping. I'm gonna fix my laces. Keep going! Don't stop, do as I say, not as I do. Woo. Unless your laces are untied too, then stop and fix that shit. Don't make me talk to you. <laughs> 15 seconds. Keep going. Oh. Almost there. We are almost through our second lap. Four, three, two, and one. Boom. Up next, plyo moving lunges. Okay. I'm going to place it nice and close. We're back in three, two, and one. That's it. Keep your chest up. It's a real quad burner. You'll notice I'm not going super deep in these lunges. They're quite shallow. It's because I want you to focus on your speed and your ability to push off the ground with each foot as it lands with focus. Oh, shit. We got one more of those to go. Grab for your challenger bar. This will be the last time you need it today. I think, unless I'm lying. <laughs> okay, here we go. Set those bars, set those shoulders, down and up. Nice. Beauty. That's it. Yes. Yes, body rockers. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. I need a towel boy. Accepting applicants today. Okay? Send me your resume. Must have prior knowledge of towels. <laughs> three seconds. Find that sumo squat position. Two. Here we go. Down. Right up to the toes. Nice. Up to the toes and down. If you really want to be saucy, stay up on your toes. Oh, what did she just do? Stay up on your toes. Keep your heels lifted. Sumo squat from the toes. Oh, balls to the wall. That's what Jesse said the other day. I really don't know what it means. Let me know, please. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm not saying anything bad. Two and one. Woo! Okay, last set of banded side steps. Band up. Okay. Oh, three seconds. Two. Let's go. Step it out. Dance, 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 dance. To the right, 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 right. To the left. Back and forth, back and forth, back, back, forth and forth, back step, back step, forward, woo, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, woo, 
Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, explosive crouch starters. We're at that starting line for the race. We're on in three, two, and one. That's it. That's it. Explode up. Reach back. Now you want to keep your back flat the entire time, even when you're coming down to the ground. So if that means you get to here and you start to round, you end your range of motion here, okay? Listen to your body. Know your limits, play within it. That's good for life, love, exercise, and gambling apparently. Three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, over to the other side. Ah! Here we go. Eight seconds. We're at that starting, starting line for the race. My ass is gonna lose, but here we go. Down, explode up. Woo! Actually, I shouldn't say that. I was a sprinter in high school. Mixed relay, 100 meter dash. Flat back, explode up. Come on. The only person you're racing against is you. The only person that you have anything to prove to is you. Let's go. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one more, one more. Woo! Boom. Oh, goodness. Lateral ski hops. Bunny hood on. In five, four, three, two, here we go. Can you ski backwards? Probably not, huh? <laughs> That's it. Mogul. This is not the kind of mogul I want to be, though. That's it. Up and over. Almost there, eight seconds. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, we got those banded. Squat in and out, band up. Body rock, rock your body. That's it. I like that connotation. You're like a rock, unpenetrable. Out, hop it in nice and quick. Out, low, hop it in nice and quick. Out, low, hop it in. Woo, 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, band drop. Last exercise before that finisher. Fix your ponytail, wipe the sweat from your eyes, get ready to crush it. Woo! Okay, lateral moving lunges. Okay, work. If you have knee issues and this isn't working for you, you can also drop to a lateral lunge, bring it in over to the other side, okay? Still get that lateral work in without putting too much tension on your knees. But we're moving. We're almost there. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Boom. Okay. You did it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Catch your breath. Meet me back here. 20 seconds for that 12 minute finisher where we focus on unilateral work. You heard how important it is. Any questions you have about skipping it, get rid of it. We're doing it. Go get your shit. Whew.